Let's find the oxidation number for the Fe in Fe3O4. And we're going to look at the average oxidation number. Then we're going to talk about why we get a fraction, how we can have a fractional oxidation number. So let's calculate the average oxidation numbers for the elements here in Fe3O4. So first off, we have a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive up here. If we have a neutral compound, all of the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We don't know the oxidation state for the iron. It's a transition metal that can have different states. So let's call that X. And then oxygen, that's almost always negative too, except in peroxides and bonded to fluorines. But here it's bonded to iron. So we're going to say that each oxygen is negative two and that all of the oxidation numbers for the elements are going to add up to zero. So three times X, three X minus two. And we have four of those. That's going to equal zero. Let's move this down. So 3x minus 8 equals 0. 3x equals 8. Divide both sides by 3. And we end up with x equals 8 thirds. So the oxidation number on each iron here in Fe3O4, that's going to be a positive 8 thirds. And that's kind of strange. How do we get a fractional oxidation number? So when we look at Fe3O4, it's kind of a special compound. It's made up of FeO, that's iron two oxide, and then Fe2O3, that's iron three oxide. So these are bonded together. We have this Fe3O4. So the oxidation state for these would be whole numbers. But when we have these two together here in Fe3O4, that's why we have the fraction. This is Dr. B with the average oxidation number for the iron in Fe3O4 iron 2, 3 oxide. Thanks for watching.